Hello everybody. I'm parked here on the side of the street because I found uh, some kind of internet and uh, the internet is here a lot better than it is in the house. And I'm coming to you guys from uh, 4G LT and I think it looks good but I found an even better Xfinity Wi-Fi here and I'm, uh, I'm uploading a video. So um, Miami is slowly uh, getting back to normal here. A lot of businesses are opening. A lot of people still without power, but uh, it's uh, it's not too bad. Uh, we did okay here with uh, Irma. I don't know exactly how well the rest of the city is. And this upload is at 13%. I don't think it's going to. I don't think the laptop battery is going to last uh, long enough for the upload to finish. I wonder if I can find a faster internet you know internet is at a premium here but uh, a lot of people without power I'm, I'm sitting here right now at um, somewhere in Coral Gables and I found this Xfinity Wi-Fi internet that has decent speed so I'm uploading my edited video so you can see like the worst uh, part of the storms and all that but uh, yeah we did okay with uh, Erba no, there's no curfew anymore in Miami. Last night we had a curfew, but there's no curfew. Uh, oh, my few places. News, cafe made. I have no idea, I haven't been by the by the beach, but I hear that the beach uh, got really, um, got a lot of damage. I heard that uh, the sand uh, went all the way to, uh, over to Ocean Drive. So yeah, Crystal River is a mess. Yeah, I can imagine. No gas for over a week. Uh, no power. Yeah, we, we, it's a few gas stations are, are have gas. The things, as I said, things are slowly getting back to to normal here in Miami. And I think I lost my connection to that Xfinity Wi-Fi. It's been at thirteen percent for a while. I've been trying to find some kind of um, internet here. So I can upload a video, detailed video of what we went through. Hey, Mike. Yeah, we're okay, man. We made a, we went, we made out okay here in Miami. Some places on the West Coast, uh, I don't know. Have you heard from um, from Lydia? I, uh, she has that at the house in near Tampa, I think, right? Any damage to mini, the mini? Oh, the, the only damage to to the my, the mini tini is uh, one of the outside speakers. The grill lost like a little piece, and. Um, I was going to replace those speakers anyways. So uh, no other visible damage. I haven't really driven it. I haven't really, you know, taken it out this weekend maybe. Even if we have to boondock at the casino, we'll, we'll, we'll take it out. Fontainebleau still standing. Yeah, you know, good, uh, you know, construct, constructed buildings will withstand something like this with no problem. Yeah, the, the coastal areas like Miami Beach got some flooding and uh, yeah. Uh, I, right, as I am right now, I am a few miles inland, even even where I am right now, where I found this um, this Wi-Fi that I'm trying to upload a video. Hopefully, my laptop battery will last long enough for the video to, to finish uploading. Otherwise, I wasted my time here. People friendly, you know. The funny thing, I I have power at home, and so I didn't have to use that new generator I bought. Hello from New Jersey, glad to see you're okay. Yeah, we're fine, hey. hey. Wow, William from uh, Bruges. It's so nice to see you back safe and The keys, however, look devastated, judging from what. Yeah, the key, especially, <coughs> I haven't seen any CNN, or I haven't watched uh, many news, actually, much of it, because all I have is that over-the-air antenna on my roof, and and um, that's uh, that has worked out fine. But uh, I can I can imagine anything uh, anything anything west of the Seven Mile Bridge has to be like flattened or at least heavily flooded. That 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 area is not gonna be inhabitable for a while. <laughs> line at McDonald's number twenty five in line. Yeah, have you seen the, the, the lines at the, the, the McDonald's or at Wendy's and all this? Oh, everything that the, everywhere that they have warm food. The lines are uh, gigantic. Uh, I'm glad I still have some food, like for another two days in the house. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna do. A, I'm gonna make a trip to the Florida Keys as as early as uh, as possible. 
but as I understand it so far, I think only Key Largo is open to, to like regular folks. Everything else is just first responders. And, uh, and yeah, the lower keys, uh, we're not gonna be able to go there for a month at least, I don't think. Yeah, as I was saying, the Florida Keys are, uh, your house Wi-Fi is out, and yeah, I don't have a Comcast, it's out completely. <coughs> and even at my house, uh, the, 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 the LTE, uh, the, the phone, we have no inter we have no signal, I guess one of the towers uh, went down, so. I, I drove around searching for the best internet I could find, and I'm parked here on Ponce de Leon Boulevard, and uh, I found an Xfinity Wi-Fi. Although, if my battery doesn't, uh, my laptop is on battery, I'm trying to upload a video here. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> my RV is offering showers to people. Men use outside shower, women and children inside shower. I'm right next to the Coral Gables clock. It's 3.15 p.m. apparently. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm not able to read all the comments, guys. Good, you're doing great. Thanks for the videos as always. Glad to see you're okay. We'll be interested to see when you fly the drone how things look from the air. Actually, over here, it's, it's not that bad. I mean, you're gonna see less trees, but there's no real, uh, I don't, the, the, in my area, there's no real damage that I can see. And I haven't flown the drone because you know, since we are like in a state of quote-unquote emergency, maybe the, the, the authorities don't frown upon me flying to drone, but probably by the weekend I'll probably fly it around um, my neighborhood to see how everything looks from the air. 50 years ago, Miami was a swamp. What happened 50 years ago? Well, yeah, most of West Miami, all those areas, and I say it on the video that I'm about to publish if I can upload it. A lot of these areas that get flooded in Miami out West and near the coast, that's because we stole that land from the Everglades. You know, and, and, the, and the swamp eventually wants to reclaim whatever land we, we you know, nature eventually wins. And, um, and that's why a lot of areas get flooded because that used to be the, uh, the Everglades, not, uh, we, we are, you know, we moved there because we, uh, you know, as humans, in our infinite wisdom, you know, decided to do that, but, yeah, no, I'm trying to, to get a better angle here and show you guys, let me show you, let me change cameras here so you can see, this is Ponce de Leon Boulevard, it's, it's a beautiful day here, and, uh, not a whole lot of traffic for a weekday. I mean, no, uh, uh, right where you, you are talking was Everglades 75 years ago. Uh, wait, what? Yes, Eric, I'm here. Well, this area right where I am right now, this was, I, I believe this was always solid ground. That's why this area right here never ever uh, floods. But uh, further out west from here, and, uh, and definitely way out west, all those all those suburbs that they have built uh, right next to the Everglades, they are, um, yeah, as I was saying. You know what, since I am on the f uh, broadcasting on the phone here, and uh, I'm trying to upload a video, I, f I found an Xfinity Wi-Fi. I don't know if, if I should try to get closer to, closer to it. Now Amazon sent me a text that they delivered the package that they were supposed to deliver like a week ago. But the package is already at the house. Amazon is really... Uh, anyway, <laughs> I digress. I've been living in Florida since 2000. I'm tired of these hurricanes. It's, it's selling my house, moving to Vegas. Yeah, well, we, in 2005 we had Wilma and Katrina. And then we had some hurricane like... like I want to say around 2010 that I don't recall the name it did it, it, it we were without power overnight uh, but, but it wasn't really nothing at all so it's, it hasn't been that bad and see before Wilma and Katrina we didn't have anything significant until Andrew in 92 so you know we get our bad storm every 12 years or so and this was not bad for Miami this was I mean yeah it's it's inconvenient uh, a lot of people without power you know it's gonna be inconvenient for about a week or so but Yeah, I think it was Irene. Yeah, I, I, it must have been Irene. Uh, no power, but uh, 
Okay, are you planning a time lapse uh, video? I don't know, not really. I'm planning, I, I really hope I can upload this video it's by 18% right now. And my battery is 80%. I might make it, I might make it. A lot of people in the Tampa Bay, no, Tampa Bay, I'm sure got, I, I don't know, have you guys heard that the, that the bay receded right before the hurricanes and then the water came back? That's that's incredible. I haven't seen any videos because, to be honest about it, all, I, all the media I have at, at home is just over the air TV, and I can't stand it. I just I just watched a little bit, and that's it. And uh, we, we have no real internet. That's why I had to drive here. Here I have, as you can see, we have decent uh, um, 4G LTE, and I've got uh, my computer connected to a to a Wi-Fi, trying to upload a video here. So, uh, you think Tampa got off luck? I, I really hope so. They got a pretty direct hit. Orlando area, most of Central Florida is um, muggy. Yeah, I don't know. If you don't have power, man, it's, it's, it's amazing how much uh, we give uh, to take power for granted here. Uh, yes, all the wet water went out and came back about nine hours later. Good to see you, Robert. Thank you. So I'm here, I'm basically waiting for this video to upload, if it ever finishes uploading. It's just a video, a more detailed video about um, about our experience here during the hurricane. And uh, yeah, I have the before, the during and the after. Well, there's, there's not much after, as you can see, if you... if. Losing you, me? Oh, I'm sorry, Eric. That it's, 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 um, I, I hope it's not me. But as you can see, or, I mean, palm trees are made for this kind of weather. But all the palm trees here in Coral Gables are in place. The only trees that fell were like, um, you know, um, the, the only trees that fell, like my Ponciana tree, lost uh, half of its branches, you know, and uh, but right here. It is very nice. Yeah, Eric, in my house I have no signal uh, whatsoever. I, mean, I think I guess some of the LTE towers are down. But I came here, and the, this area, and I'm getting a pretty good signal. And uh, I got my computer hooked up to a, to a Wi-Fi that I found. And uh, I'll be here until I can upload the video. Hopefully it, it won't take uh, two hours. <laughs> Yeah, this one you see right here, this is Ponce de Leon Boulevard in Coral Gables and that over there, let me see if I can focus, that's downtown Coral Gables, which is uh, a very nice area of town here. As you can see, there's not much traffic, whoa, and my phone vibrated. How's the gas situation? There's, there's a handful of gas stations open around, they all have a line, but there's some of them. Some of them are open, I'd say about a third of them. And uh, what happened is that the gas stations that had uh, gas didn't have power and the ones that had power didn't have gas. So it's one of, the, one of those things that happened. But um, is that the ocean at the end? No, they, we're far away from the ocean here. We are, the ocean is probably about five miles to the east and probably a good eight miles to the south very clear picture I'm glad yeah it's uh, I think I found some uh, miraculously I found some, some uh, good signal here half of Miami does not have uh, internet uh, William I hope your family in Cuba is okay I, you know I haven't I haven't been able to speak to my family in Cuba but uh, my 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 cousin which is like the closest family I have lives in Havana and uh, in Havana only certain coastal areas get flooded but um, it's the, the coastal area that always gets flooded whenever we get a bad, a bad uh, north. Uh, but in Cuba, they, in Cuba, they used to call it Norte, which means uh, north, you know, a, a cold front. So we get, they, they get those northerly winds. And that area of El Vedado, which is uh, the, the suburb of Havana, always uh, gets uh, flooded. You should go to the Venetian pool sometime and make a video along with Fairchild Tropical God. I'm, I'm very close to the Venetian pool right here where I am right now. Probably a mile that way, and yeah, I wanna I wanna do a, a comprehensive video of Coral Gables at some point with the Venetian pool and the Fairchild. I think the Fairchild is part of Coral Gables too. Either that or Coconut Grove, I'm not sure. 
<coughs> but it's this area. Uh, but downtown Coral Gables is being, has been under construction for, for months, so I'm waiting for them to finish and then do like a nice video because it's, it is a very nice uh, area of town. I'm wondering if the... Hold on. 20% and I've been here is about 20 minutes. A little more, so it's about a minute per percentage point, so that means uh, eight, I'm gonna be here 80 minutes. Oh gosh, an hour and 20 minutes. Good thing I have a full tank of gas. <laughs> help with the power situation yeah uh, you know what the problem with this hurricane has been that it affected the whole state of Florida so even people returning uh, from the north you know re because people had to drive what to all the way to North Carolina or, or Alabama to get away from the storm the people who evacuated now they're coming back and and they are unable to find gas to fill up the tank to, to, to make make it all the way back to, to South Florida and Florida is a long state you know you, you my my, my I'm not, not towing the trailer, of course, but my regular gas, a uh, full tank of gas will get me as far as Tampa or probably St. Augustine on the East Coast, but that's not even the whole state, so you cannot drive the whole state on, on one tank. Nice to see you guys made it through. My daughter lives in Daytona. Beach and is still without power. Yeah, half of, most, most, of, most of the state is still without power. And that, that's Daytona on the East Coast, they didn't even get, get a, um, a direct hit. How's Minitini? Minitini is fine, all I got was um, one of the speakers, I guess a branch hit it. One of the outside speakers that were no good anyways, um, got hit and the, with the grill, got a little damage, but no, no big deal. The old Crandon Park Zoo, I don't think it's there anymore. Andrew wiped it out, yeah, yeah, that, okay, that's right, yeah. Yeah, Andrew was much worse than this for for Miami at least. Obrigado, Ricardo Martinez. Everything is getting back to normal slowly but surely. Greetings from Germany. Did you hear back from your friends across Florida? Yeah, yeah. I, I pretty much texted every everybody and. Uh, and uh, everybody survived. I didn't have, I didn't know anybody in the Keys, and especially in the lower Keys. The upper Keys probably f f fared well. They got some inundations, some flooding, but it's fine. This, the lower Keys, I, I can't wait to, to hear from from the lower Keys. Uh, East Coast Florida should have power by the end of the weekend. Well, that's good to know. Uh, Chicago met a family docking in here with their RV. They were nice people. Stay safe. And the National Guard there, not really, I haven't found any National Guard around. There's a there's a, there, a whole fleet of trucks, you know, um, trying to, to, to get power back online. But still, nobody has picked up any, any of the trees that fell down. And, um, you know, it's a slow process. Yeah, the chippy speaker got damaged, man. Yeah. Anyways, I, I'm never gonna use the outside speakers. That I, I think that that would be so rude to my neighbors unless I'm like in the middle of nowhere boondocking. Then yeah, I could uh, use the outside speakers. But why? You know, why would you? Uh, w w w would I? Uh, you know, uh, make my neighbors uh, submit to my possibly poor tasting music. <laughs> my family enjoyed watching your food reviews last night. Will you be doing more? Uh, no, they haven't sent me any more food reviews. I'm gonna do uh, the cooking show someday. I'm going to get back into that. 23%, uh, percent. yeah. Yeah, cell phone uh, outages uh, uh, everywhere. My mom didn't have cell phone until, until this morning. And we have very marginal uh, service at our home. That's why I'm trying to upload from here. And um, actually, this is very good. Teco will down be down there next week. Uh, sign out. Okay, Eric. I'll talk to you later, man. Um, yeah, I think um, there, there, there's a lot of... Uh, there's a whole fleet of, of trucks. Any trips coming up? I, you know, ironically enough, I was going to go to the Keys <laughs> this next weekend. And uh, that's obviously not going to happen. But... Um, that, that was the plan. 
and then I have a very ambitious plan. There's this thing in Arkansas, and it's uh, there's, there's the work campers uh, rendezvous that I might go to, and uh, and there's a. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking of getting the RV inspector's license, so um, you know it's an, it's an another source of income. A trip to Cuba. I would love to go to Cuba, but uh, uh, I can't. I can't right now. And until they change the the law, the Cuban government changes its law concerning a Cuban-born American citizens. I, I cannot go. I would have to essentially become a Cuban citizen again. And uh, that's too much paperwork for my taste. Really like your Milky Way time lapse. Yes, that was you know that was uh, in Western Kentucky by the land between the lakes where I where we saw the eclipse. That, that, that same spot. Have you ever been to Gatlinburg, Tennessee area? I've passed by, and. Uh, yeah, I'm parked right next to the to the Coral Gables uh, clock. <laughs> Is gas available? It's uh, it's limited, but it's available. You you uh, there are a handful of gas stations open. They all have a line, but we have gas. And pretty much, I think everybody got gas before the hurricane because there were lines in every single gas station. And uh, and I have like a three quarter tank. I, I think you know by by the time uh, is that big Ben again? Can I hear? Her? Well, if you stick around until three forty five. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I can show you that clock up there, it's, uh, there is a, it's on top of that pole right there. <laughs> and my upload is at 24%. I wonder if I could try to find a faster uh, a Wi-Fi or some kind of internet. I mean, this signal you guys are seeing is probably beautiful. It's probably perfect. You know, I'm gonna turn the switch back to the phone. I'm gonna kill the. Um, the live feed for now and um, anyways I appreciate you guys and um, we are doing fine here in Miami we're gonna be doing even better once uh, everybody gets power and everybody gets uh, you know things are start slowly getting back to normal and um, we'll be back to normal here uh, very soon I'll, I'll catch you guys later and if I can uh, finish this upload at some point uh, you know it's uh, the video of uh, before uh, during and after the hurricane Stay safe. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you all, guys. I'll, I'll, I'll be back live as soon as I can. See you on the road.